Hi, this is Randy Nordell, and this is a SimNet student video on how to complete a SimBook. The first thing you're going to do is navigate to the SimBook assignment in your LMS. And when you click on that, that will take you to SimNet, to the SimBook in SimNet. Once in SimNet, click Open SimBook to open up the SimBook. And the SimBook is one-to-one -one content with the printed textbook. It looks and feels a, uh, just like the printed textbook. In addition, it has built-in uh, learning activities, uh, show me, guide me, let me try, which I'll show you in just a little bit. First about navigation to how to get around a SimBook. In the upper left, the first thing is the table of contents. You can jump around to the different pages within the SimBook by using the table of contents. You can also use the forward and the forward and backwards button. The one on the right is to move forward, one on the left is to move backwards. Um, the next one is the glossary button. It'll show you the glossary terms. If you wanna bookmark a page, this is the bookmark button. The help button will help you with topics about a SimBook. The search button allows you to search for specific topics within the SimBook. The accessibility button lets you change the font size, increase it or decrease it, as well as the line height or enable high contrast. You could print a page of the SimBook. And the last button is exit. A couple other things on the page. If you want to highlight or make a note in a section, the vertical ellipses on the right hand side, if you click those, um, you could highlight or make a note on a part of the textbook. Additionally, you could use the read speaker, this button here in the upper right. Um, if you click on it, it's going to start reading at the top of the page. If you select a section, it will read that particular section. Additionally, if you select a section, um, you're also able to highlight it here. You're also able to use the read speaker here, or you are also able to use the translator and translate it to a different language. And this will show it both in written format and it'll read it for you. So that's how to navigate around and use the read speaker and translator. Uh, what you'll do is you'll scroll down till you've come to the first show me, guide me, let me try. These are the interactive activities. Show me is a video that shows you how to do a particular skill. So for instance, this one would be how to save a, a workbook with a different file name. Guide me tells you exactly what to do in a simulated environment and shows you how to do that. And then the let me try, it will show you or tell you what to do, but not specifically how to do it in a simulated environment. Most of your instructors will just have you do the let me try to complete it. There are typically about 20 of these interactive, interactive activities in each sim book and you have to come and you want to complete all of those interactive activities you could do them as many times as you want but most of the time your instructor will just have you do the let me try sometimes they may have you do other ones you'll have to check with them about that but as i click the let me try it will open up a simulated environment in simnet it'll give you instructions up here on what to do um, you could change the size. If you need a hint on how to do it, you can do that. This up here tells you how many skills you're on one of 23 right now. Um, device tips. Device tips, if you're using a Mac or a Chromebook or a Windows device, if you click on device tips, it will come up and tell you, hey, make sure you use the function key with uh, with some of the other the with some of the other keys. Same thing with Mac or Chromebook. Those are called device tips. Um, there is a read speaker here to, have, to read the instructions if you want. And notice it went to the let me try. There's also a show me, guide me. You could always go back and do the show me, do the guide me if you want. But most, most instructors just require you do the let me try to get the point. So that's where it'll take you. This is a simulated environment where you can kind of look around. You can click, click around for different things here. Um, it won't penalize you or tell you you're wrong until you do some actionable item within the sim book. If I do something wrong, it will tell me. If I try to do something, it'll say, hey, you know you're supposed to do this. Then you just continue on and go back and, and do what it says. So this one says save a copy of the file to the documents folder with this file name. So I'm gonna go to file and go to save as, click browse and type in the file name it asks for and click save. And that's it. 
If you want to move on to the next one, you can click this button here. It'll take you to the next Let Me Try. If you click Close, it's going to take you back out to the SIM book. Um, or you can go to previous ones if there were previous ones. Um, if you click Continue, it's going to take you to the next one. It'll just take you to the Show Me. So usually best just to click this button and it'll take you to the next Let Me Try. And that's it, that's completing a SIM book. As you exit out, you'll be able to see your progress. It'll take you, it'll show you have a check mark here and it'll, that you've completed that one. As I exit all the way, and then you would just move on to the next one after that and so on and so on and complete all the Let Me Tries in the SIM book. Uh, as you exit out, it will show you your progress and show you what you've completed here. So as I go down, I've completed seven of the 23 different Let Me Tries. And even as I scroll down a little more, I can see more detailed that I've completed one of one of these. I've completed five of five in the in SLO 1-2. When there says when it says none, that's either intro page or a pause and practice page. So just so disregard that. This one here, I've completed one of two, so I need to finish the other one in this SLO and then complete the other ones. And that's it. So I hope this video helped. Uh, make sure you complete all the Let Me Tries in each of these sim books. Have a great day.